everyone and thank you for having me once again uh, on bookaholics and i'm really honored to be here and speak about today's book which is sense and sensibility when uh, when you guys chose the theme of uh, romance uh, as the genre the first book that did hit my mind was pride and prejudice but i just did not want this to be too cliche so i rather went for sense and sensibility uh let me quickly jump into this and i shall wrap up soon so uh, a little a couple of facts about sense and sensibility uh jane or this was jane austen's first published novel and she wrote uh, the first version of this novel uh, along with pride and prejudice and northanger abbey in 1790s uh sense and sensibility was first called uh, elinor and marianne and uh, it was originally an epistolary novel epistolary uh, novels are where uh, novel it's a compilation of uh, a novel which is uh, uh, through the letters exchanged between two characters and that is how it is compiled so it was first this but then it was eventually um, uh, it eventually evolved to become the novel as we read today uh talking about the plot of the book uh this book revolves around the dashwood family which uh, uh, which is uh, which uh, dashwood family which basically moves from norlin park to barton possibly as Ms. mrs dashwood's uh, husband does not leave much sum post his death for his second wife and three daughters which made the um, which makes the dashwood family um along with elinor marianne and margaret the three daughters uh and um, what happens is that when they are residing in norlin park for a couple of months elinor uh, falls in love with uh, edward ferrars and uh, she she catches feelings for him but she's not sure if uh, the same is reciprocated from his end so due to the complications in uh, both the characters uh, they the dashwood family chooses to move to uh, to the cottage um, in barton which is uh, lended to them by uh, dashwood uh, mrs dashwood's distant cousin uh, called as john middleton and when, once they move there uh, the story revolves uh, again around uh, marianne and elinor's uh, love story uh, as a lot of other characters are introduced uh, through john middleton uh, like um, like a uh, colonel brandon and even uh, belogby is introduced so uh, the story begins uh, where uh, once they move to barton marianne twists her ankle one day and uh, there's this handsome gentleman called belogby and he tends to her and uh, that is how uh, marianne's love story uh, begins uh, in the novel and uh, this is like uh, the the story then basically revolves around these two characters and uh, there is a lot of twists and turns and uh, eventually the two sisters find their suitors and it's a happy ending so uh, this is what the major plot is about not revealing again too much about it in case anyone wants to read it uh, now uh, why you should pick up this book let me talk about that what i like about this novel is that throughout the novel there is this constant suspense when it comes to the romantic relationships of elinor and marianne uh, because um, jane austen again has very skillfully interweaved the story of the two protagonists having the readers uh, hooked up as to who will be the suitor of marianne and whether or not elinor will achieve her success in goal, uh, gaining edward's love so that is something uh, this this bit of uh, suspense uh you know interest the reader to take up the book and get going with the story unless and until you have that suspense in the romantic relationship uh, relationship longing for for that love love of your life you wouldn't want to pick it up so this is one thing that has caught my attention another thing is that the way both sisters deal with their romantic relationships is again to be closely observed upon uh, in so far when they find themselves in a fixated situation elena does not express her feelings when she finds out about edward and lucy steel's engagement however on the other hand marianne is way too expressive about her own feelings so um this also somewhere down the line justifies the title of sense and sensibility where aware elena represents uh, sense uh, she is symbolic of that and uh, marianne represents sensibility uh, where uh, 
like over here, sense of uh, playing the role of uh, being logical and rational and practical and sensibility is where you are. You are more focused on your feelings and uh, expressing yourself. So this is something that again has caught my attention. Another thing is that the intense complex relationships give this uh, gives this book a very realistic feel. And with the two different kinds of protagonists, again the character uh, the char characterization is well balanced. So uh, again, like uh, if, when you read this book, you'll uh, find that uh, romance and love relationships are universal. What is in the book, you can find it everywhere around you. So uh, giving this book a realistic feel. Uh, also, another thing, the fact that the male characters in the end do commit their truest feelings suggests that it is important for all of us to be expressive from time to time as only when we reveal our sincere and honest feelings are we able to make our life simple not only for uh, not only for us but also others as well uh, let me give you an example from from the book like had edward ferrars followed his heart and gotten engaged to eleanor by expressing his feelings he would have saved himself the time and trouble of being away from her the fact that he went behind lucy Steele and was trying to uh, be in a relationship with her for whatever reasons he has uh, he has lost the time uh, with eleanor so i think uh, sometimes it's very important that we follow our hearts instead of uh, 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 following our mind so that is something that has caught my attention and to wrap up uh, nonetheless the book has taught me eventually that things do fall in place as Eleanor finds her love in Edward and Marianne in Colonel Brandon who truly feels for her since the beginning of the novel so uh, this these are the things that has caught my attention uh, in this book which uh, makes it a very interesting read and it is um, it is uh, it is simple the plot is simple again the characters are also simple nothing there's no complex uh, uh, like there are no subplots and uh, this is what uh, makes it uh, very original and unique and uh, after all romance is everywhere so i think this is the reason you should pick up this book and you should read it and that is about sense and sensibility